Muted Autumn Extravaganza. In this video, I'm going to share with you some client updates I've received from Muted Autumns and go through some learning items around color analysis, around contrast and intensity and finding the fine balance between all the color analysis checks. Before I dive in with sharing with you some of these before and afters, I just want to ask you if you feel inspired to comment. Uh, I just want to hopefully get you in tune with love before you comment. These are real people in these uh, pictures who've done their photography best as they've been learning their color analysis palette and they've been really enjoying the results. Before receiving her muted autumn result, this virtual color analysis client automatically saw her natural hair color being dark and fairer skin and automatically assumed she was going to land in a higher contrast palette. And the palette that she assumed she was going to be was in the winter family. There are three aspects to every color we see. Undertone, value, and intensity. And contrast is related to the value scale. But in the color analysis system that I use, uh, the palettes that tend to be higher contrast are also higher intensity, like true winter, bright winter, bright spring. And you can also have some high contrast true spring. But when you actually look at the winter color, Color on her versus a muted autumn color, which is a softer palette, the winter color over here is distracting. It fails the harmony check. So in color analysis, the color analysis system that I use, that is, there is seven color analysis checks that we do. Some are focused on skin, some are focused on the jawline, but all the checks have to pass this check as well, which is a harmony check. It's around focus and balance. Are you more inclined to focus on the color versus the person? Or is the person and color connected? That's another way to think about it. Are your eyes more drawn to look at the person's eyes or is your eyes more drawn to look at the color uh, and the jawline area? Here, the harmony check along with all other color analysis checks pass. Here's another look at this client primarily against a true spring color over here. And you can see the brighter color fails this connected and harmony check. And learning all these checks in the fine dance between skin checks, harmony checks, and, and what have you, really comes with experience. Here's a look at a brown versus black on this client, and the black over here would be a true winter color. And you can see it, there's more harmony over here. Whereas over here, the color is slightly overwhelming her and there's disconnection. Here's what this client said after receiving her muted autumn result and testing out the muted autumn colors for about a month. You can pause this to read it. Here's another muted autumn client and over here she's primarily in winter colors and over here she's in the muted autumn palette and can you see the harmony? While it may be harder to see with lighting in these pictures whether her skin's better or not, the harmony check is easily seen here you're more inclined to look at her here. The person and the color is connected. I also find there's two camps of people. Some people like bright colors and some people like soft colors. And when they look at people, sometimes they apply those likes and dislikes to people. Uh, and even perhaps yourself, perhaps you have a like of bright colors. Color analysis checks really are sometimes a different story than likes, dislikes. I find over time as people are pointed in the direction Direction of what colors pass color analysis checks, even if they dislike the palette at first, they as they test out the palette, they end up loving the palette. And here's this client in a spring color, and here she is in a muted autumn color. She is much more in harmony over here. Here's her lovely email to me. You can pause this to read it. And here's another look at this. Here, over here is a winter color. Over here is more of a muted autumn coloring. And you can see, or I can see anyways, disharmony with winter. There's no 
way this person is a winter. And over here, there's better harmony and connection between her and the color. Even in these different lighting conditions, you can see that. There's another view of this, where this over here is primarily a winter color, and over here is primarily a muted autumn color, and there's better connection over here. Knowing where to turn the dials on undertone value intensity is important. Some people need the dials turned up uh, in terms of intensity. Some people need the di dials turned down. And here is a great example of that. And here's this client's lovely email to me. You can pause this to read it. She had been previously analyzed in uh, another system as a true slash cool summer. Here's a client who's a true spring. And can you see the disconnection over here versus connection over here? I thought we would look at this in the reverse way because some people, the dial needs to be turned up on intensity to achieve that harmony. Here's another true spring, the true spring colors over here. Even in these different lighting conditions, she goes quite gray over here and it might be the lighting, but there's disharmony between her and this color, whereas there's harmony over here. And here's someone else who's a true spring. Disharmony over here versus harmony over here. Yay to sparkling with soft or bright colors. I'm recording this video and posting it on a Sunday and I'm going to be posting another video shortly with a bit of an announcement uh, around some updates for what to expect for the next few weeks on uh, this channel. So stay tuned if you're interested.